Welcome back to another video of Atmiverse Universe. Today we're gonna to be going over the unique part of my dreads, or the unique, um, what do you, what you would call it? Unique things about my dreads. Uh, my dreads is one of the iconic things out there. Um, not to brag or anything. Um, I really don't think uh, anybody got a better dreads than me right now. And I need about 100K um, subscribers because of that. Um, so let's do that. But now, I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, there's a lot of people that probably have uh, dope dreads, you know what I'm saying, that you guys uh, look up to. But at the end of the day, uh, I'm proud of my dreads. I'm not going to compare it to another person's dreads because everybody's dreads is unique to themselves or to their own style. So if your dread look like the weekends, guess what? You got a weekend type of dread. You got your own probably style. Well, if you got a weekend type of hair, then you copy somebody. But I'm just saying, like, if you got your own dread style with your own choice, because I didn't, I don't think I looked at anybody's dread likes to say I wanted, like, them. I used to look up to other people, but I never got their style. Like, Swaley, a Mohawk dread. Uh, Gunther the Grey used to have, not really how I had it. He had, like, Congos and a few things that are... Uh, unique things about his dreads i wanted mine perfectly sectioned out perfectly put together and uh i mean it's not too bad you know but i have some unique stuff still with my dreads that i want you guys to know about but before we get into the video here it is intro intro Some of the unique things that I noticed about my dreads is that um, it's, it's pretty nice. That's unique. It's nice. It's actually nice. And then it smells good. Smell that? Ah, oh, nice. Uh, other things is that, um, as, like, for example, you see these ones just look like they're cracked or like they're broken. It is because I slept on it or something like that. It's just so, so dumb because... If I sleep with my dreads literally like this, and I wake up and I put my dreads out, guess what? My hair is gonna stay up there. Like, it just it just goes with how it's been kept for a while. So I used to keep it in a mohawk. I remember having that mohawk, uh, not mohawk, but I, I kept it in a ponytail, and I literally had a free form of ponytail. I noticed that two things about unique that is very unique about my dread. Uh, one is some of the hairs actually curl up on the end of it. I don't know if I've seen anybody's hair or dreads curl up like that because usually theirs is like skinny and stuff like that. Mine is a little bit thicker, so things like that may happen because of the weight of the dreads, right? And so I'll show you guys one of the unique, and this I've seen it in the other ones too. Uh, like for example, this one right here. And this dread is really hard to find sometimes. Like, I don't know why it goes elsewhere when I need it to come out. But then when I don't need it to come out, it's usually just hanging on the side of my head and I see it. So this dread right here is one of the thickest dread that I have. Hope you guys can see it. This is one of the thickest dread that I have. I'm gonna get a really zoom close up shot for you guys. This is one of the thickest dreads that I have. As you guys can see, it has different shapes, uh, starting from the ground, or from the tip, or from the bottom of my dreads. And then I used to have a rubber band right there, and that's why it looks like that. And then now it gets thicker right here, very thick, uh, very soft, uh, spongy. And then the shape starts to change here and there. And I don't know what made it like that. I don't know if there's a bunch of hair right here, or... I don't know what happened, but the end of it, the tip of it has a curly hair. So this curly hair is literally like a curly hair. Like a, you guys can very much see how curly that is. And I'm gonna get zoom up shot for you guys. This is very curly. As you guys can see, it's very curly and it comes out and then it goes back down. And every time I wash it, it gets more curlier. Um, 
and I don't want to dread it. I can low-key dread it like this and put it together with the other ones and crochet needle it or crochet hook it, but I choose not to because it's a unique thing about my dread. The other unique thing about my dread is that I have, well, I have half and half, which is half of it is blonde. So, way up to this side. The side of my dread is dark. Well, this one kind of joined in with the other ones, but it's not supposed to be. But this side of my hair is dark. And it used to have brown, blonde, or a copper blonde on the bottom of it. And that's why this is the way it looks like. And it's pretty unique about that too. Um, plus it has the, like I said, the other half and half, the other side would be very much of light blonde, very light. Um, I think you can go lighter than this, but mine, I stopped right here because I think this is perfect. You know, you can barely, you can kind of, you can see the blend in between the black to copper or light blonde or dark blonde and then very light blonde. And so I like that about my dread. And then one of the things I recently did, if you haven't watched the video, go watch it. It's a very banger. Like it has like over 20K views, but, uh, I split one of my dreads that Gunther the Great helped me crochet hook it. And what, why I split it is because it was too stiff. Like he crochet needled it so, uh, so that it can be one dread, but the bottom was very thin. So it was able to be a good dreadlock uh, combined versus that together, locked together, it was very thick. See, they were together and I had to split them recently. And they, uh, at times, when I put them in a the ponytail, they literally used to just stand like this because of how hard it was. And this kind of still is because, as you guys can see, it's very thick right here. Very thick right here. And then it gets thinner and thinner. And they used to be very thin. So now he locked them together and they look pretty good. But the end of it, like these ones were like this together. And that was bugging me. That was very much bothering me. And they can stand by themselves. So what I made it, um, what I made in the other video was I split it, uh, and I got to a point where I wanted it right there at the end. I still wanted to go down a little bit just because this part is very thick, which we can do right now. But I don't want to rip my other part of my dread like last time. I don't want to mess with it. But uh, okay, so this is what it looks like right now, and basically it's a Congo. But uh, those are the two things that I noticed that I wanted to share with you guys. And so if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you comment down what is the unique thing about your dreadlock in the comments because I want to respond, read, and the best one gets the pin. But check out the previous video. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse and I'm out. Pieces.